called over limit fee so guys you don't want to use more than what you have um, on your credit card hi guys it's me Leon here welcome back to my channel nigerian immigrant family living in canada if you are new here you're welcome please do not forget to click on your subscribe button so that you can join our beautiful growing family and also click on that notification button so that you can get notifications when we upload our weekly videos and shorts and if you are returning subscribers yay you're welcome back thank you all so much today we'll be continuing with our credit card topic that we started last week um so for today i'll be talking about some common credit card terms remember last week i talked about some things you should look out for before getting or considering getting a credit card so let's dig into today's topic after getting a credit card or should i also say before getting a credit card there are some times that you should know about credit cards so the first thing i want to talk about is the credit limit so when you get a credit card from any um, financial institution here in canada um depends on what the what the what the financial institution what the bank is going to offer some they start with um one thousand dollars as your credit limit so what is the meaning of credit limit so credit limit is like the maximum amount that you're allowed to borrow on your card if you use more than that maximum amount which is the credit limit if you use more than that that is called over limit which may actually cause either um declining of transaction or maybe extra charges for you to pay in Kechi, lucky kenneth I don't know I, i'm just calling names please 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 do not use over your credit limits okay so that credit limit is the maximum amount you can borrow on your credit card next i'll be talking about minimum payments payment is the smallest amount that you need to pay on your credit card on or before your due date so credit card you have like 21 days grace period to pay back your payments so i'll just break this down a little bit for those that don't really have you know initial understanding because i believe this topic i'm talking about is kind of universal it is not only for those based in canada anybody anywhere can learn something from this video i don't whether you're in canada whether you're in the us whether you're in the uk whether you're in nigeria wherever you are i can actually learn something from this so for the minimum payment i said it is the lowest amount you're allowed to pay on your credit card on or before the due date to avoid interest charge but mind you paying only the minimum payment can lead to higher interest charge over time so now i'm going to go into how to calculate your payment due date so you don't miss your payment due dates to avoid um, extra charges to avoid um, late payment fee to avoid interest charge so for your payment due date first off you have a statement date cycle date or statement date this is a date that your statement is being generated every month every month when your statement is ready is either you get a notification via email that your statement is ready or it can be sent to your home address if you now sign up for an online um, notification so for the cycle date let's say for example every fourth of each month that is when your statement comes up so that is when your statement is being sent out every fourth of each month for example so that will be your statement date so from the fourth you have remember i said you have 21 grace period to make your payments right so from that fourth that is when you start counting your 21 days so the 21 days bank has given to you to go through your statement and know how much you need to pay and you make payments either before or on the due date so let's say for example your statement comes out on the fourth of each month like i mentioned before the due date from the fourth you calculate 21 days so the due date is going to be 25th either you're making your minimum payment or your maximum payment on or before that 25th you are good but if you do not make that payment on or before the 25th that is where late payment fee comes up and also interest will be charged on your next statement 
okay so if you don't understand hopefully somebody's getting this but you can always replay this video but let me just quickly repeat myself so from your due date right you have 21 days to make back your payments which is the let's say you've used out from your credit card you have been given one thousand dollars as your um credit limit when you use your credit card at the store let's say you use um hundred dollars out of your one thousand dollars that has been given to you you borrowed out hundred dollars from your credit card and until your due date you have, have that hundred dollars to pay back so hundred dollars will be the certain amount that you hold on that credit card let's say the minimum payment from your hundred dollars that you owe is ten dollars right so there is minimum payment and statement balance so minimum payment is the lowest amount that you need to pay like i mentioned the statement balance it is the full balance that you owe on that credit card for that period so your minimum payment might be ten dollars and your statement balance might be hundred dollars so if your statement date is on the fourth your due date is going to be 25th of that month so every 24th of each month that is when your statement is being generated and sent out you have the grace period of 21 days to make your payments let's say it comes on the 25th you have to make either your ten dollars to avoid your account to be reported to a credit bureau because once your account is reported to a credit bureau your credit score will be on a negative side and you don't want that so that's why it's advisable is either you make your minimum payment or you make the full statement balance so on the 25th either you make your ten dollars payments or if you have it enough you can go ahead and make the full statement balance and clear your balance to be zero so you can go ahead to make your full payment of hundred dollars to clear out that statement for that period right so it is that's why i am personally advising when you're using your credit card make sure you have the money available sometimes it might not be like that right but for those that are new that's what our advice right you don't want to fall victim of credit card debts so let's say you're taking out ten dollars from your credit card today make sure you have that ten dollars to pay back you know just to avoid any debt or just to avoid you spoiling your credit um, history that you're trying to build because if you do not make that payment by that due date and your next statement comes up automatically your account will be reported to a credit bureau in my next video i'm going to talk more about that but yeah so credit bureau but let me just say credit bureau is like a body that are in charge of you know the credit history and all of that so once your um so once you not make payments and your next statement comes up without making payments automatically your account is being reported to that body however if you make payments but it's after your due date after the 25th remember we're using 25th as our um acting due date yeah you make payments after the 25th or you make payments today but it was deposited the next day or the next two days you will be charged late payment fee so you don't want all that extra charges and all of that it is advisable to make your payments for me i'm going to advise make the payment before your due date just to avoid any interest charge or any story that touches you know all right so you can also take out cash from your credit card so it is called cash advance you can use either the atm or a counter at the store so any store here in canada because i'm talking about canada right although i said it, the, the topic is universal that is fine but i am based in canada so i'm talking about you know canada so you can get out cash from your credit card either by using atm or you can get it as a cash advance from the store counter but mind you if you're taking out cash from your credit card on or before your due date please make sure you pay the full money the full balance the total balance on your statement the reason is because cash advance interest is usually higher than the normal purchase interest purchase interest 
or purchases is when you know go to the store you do your normal grocery shopping and all of that that is different but if you're taking out cash it is that's what's called cash advance and the interest rate is usually higher than your normal purchase you know interest so if you going if you have it in mind that you want to take out cash from your credit card please also have the money available to make the full statement balance for that statement because of the cash advance why i'm saying this is let's say for example plus your cash um, advance you now owe 200 dollars, which will be due on the 25th so because of that interest charge because of that cash advance and the interest interest will be charged on the full 200 dollars. interest will not be charged on only 100 dollars alone maybe for example you have it in mind to make your minimum payments for that month you'd be like okay i don't have enough money let me just make my minimum payment which is that maybe ten dollars is your minimum payment for example and you go ahead to make the minimum payment on or before the due date which is maybe on or before the 25th of the month the balance that will be remaining which is about 190 dollars interest will be charged on the full balance when your balance meets the next statement right interest will be charged so if you do not make the full statement balance that has the cash advance that cash advance interest will be charged on the total balance so just imagine how much extra you'll be paying and if you don't maybe by the next statement you do not make the payment that's how you'll be you know carrying it over and you'll be charged and you'll be charged so please it is advisable if you'll be taking out cash using your credit card, please make sure you make the full statement balance on or before the due date to avoid this extra interest charge. You need to be careful because you want to have a good credit score. And that's why I'm also taking out my time to explain, you know, the interest and all of that, the charges of a um, limit fee, the late payment fee, the cash advance interest and all of that. So remember, when choosing to use a credit card it is very important for us to understand the terms and conditions associated with it in order for us to manage it responsibly all right guys so that will be all for today and i promise you more videos next week so if you are new here and um, you don't know what this channel is all about uh, please go back to our old videos there i made an introduction video um where i talked about you know this channel what we'll be doing and all of that i will appreciate it guys for you to comment so that i will know that okay you know somebody is getting this information out there okay guys so please do not forget to like share comment and for those that haven't subscribed click on the subscribe button okay so that you can join our beautiful family all right guys have a good day stay safe out there and be good I will see you all later. Bye-bye.